and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today is June the 23rd, I believe. Today is the 23rd or the 22nd, I don't know. And we are here at home today. We have, actually this afternoon, we have our vaccine. Um, this afternoon, and we were supposed to have it this, mon the, this morning. And the, the vet does not feel too well. So she said she wanted to take her meds rest. And so we have to do it in the afternoon. We have to give our chicks the vaccine either early in the morning. My lighting is terrible. Early in the morning or late in the evening. So if we don't do it in the morning, which is um, 6.30 in the morning, we do it 5.30 in the afternoon. So that's basically what we're doing today. We'll be doing it at 5.30. So we had a little bit of time to spend here at the farm this morning, not the farm, sorry, at home this morning. And so I just wanted to, to bring a, you guys a short clip about what our, I was walking in the field and I said, let me just let you guys know about our banana field here. So basically this is what it is. When we first moved here, not two times in a year, this is our second home since we've been here. We spent six months one place and now we're here for, um, in August, gonna make us another six months. So when we came here to rent this place and we totally found this place, not with a Dalali. I went to do my nails and to do my, uh, my nails, which needs doing. And I was talking to the ladies there and she said, oh yeah, I, I know this lady who, who has a house to rent in Kigamboni. <laughs> So we came out here, we looked at the house. I found all kind of excuse not to take the house and every excuse that I come up with to go counter it. So, cause I was looking at the vein stuff. I was looking at wanting a, a nice house inside. I wanted everything to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. You know, us women, we want nice things. And my husband was, was looking at the practicality of this house, the practicality, the price, the location. It's kind of like in the country. It's right next to the beach. So that's what he was looking at, but I was looking at the niceness. So, uh, you know, most of the time he wins because he's more logical than I am. I am basically just the get up and go person, get up and do, make sure things is, you know, moving. I don't even care how it moves. Well, I do care, but as long as it's moving. Him, on the other hand, balances me off by making sure what we are doing is actually, actually practical and we get it done so basically that's why we are here he won we rented the place um and so it comes with three and a half acres so when he kicked me off the farm we was trying to figure out what we're gonna do with it with all this land you know beside maintaining the, the grass grows like weeds so we decided that when we moved here there was a it was another one there was a um a uh, banana farm let me show you guys oh yes there was a banana farm a banana plantation a small banana field huh? i'm saying farm and plantation like it's something big it's very small very very small let me show you guys from um an outside i'm gonna stand on the outside and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so basically that's it right here right this is it and so far since we've been here, I think we have still like eight, maybe even more hands of bananas. Like every, maybe other week we cut in a, a, um, a bunch of banana. And sometimes we have to just take up what we need from the tree because it's only the two of us. And um, just use that until it's done. And when I'm ready to cook, I just go outside. I pick some and from the branch, like I'll show you guys over there what we're doing. So yeah, so once we decided we were going to plant um, banana at our farm in um our farm farm and but we are having a lot of issues so we can't really take water from what we have now already and put it into something that you know into banana so we decided to just extend our banana field here so i extended the field i did it with one of the guys that was working here with us robert and we extended it to this way so all these new ones right here i don't want to go because the grass is long all these new ones is what we extended about um a month a month ago so yeah so we extended it that far and in the meanwhile like i said like almost every week it's two different type of bananas here 
we have the blogger right there and then we have the sweet little banana i'll show you guys so every morning i just come out here and walk but we've seen a big snake here on saturday and we couldn't get to kill it we think it's probably in the septic which is right there kind of like that's one of the cosmetic things i didn't like about here oh my husband is slashing so yeah so if you look at this um where's my bottle now if you look at this banana this is blogger i don't know the name of it here in tanzania but we took out a bunch from here a hand from here and i started taking out from here so yeah so whenever it's red, whenever i want to cook i just come and take it because if i take it and put it inside the house it's gonna ripe too fast and it's not a banana that we eat ripe we ripe a lot then we have one right here we cut one on sunday so we have ripe bananas in the house and there goes one right here just starting see this is what they look like when they just started and then under each one of these brand these things as it opens up it's a hand of banana so most of the hands that i'm most of the bunches that i'm seeing here is usually either three four five hands this one has five hands three hands of bananas on one bunch and that's all it's gonna have even though it has the small one the um hanging still this year this it's not gonna produce anymore that's all it's gonna produce now this is the sweet banana mesito what you eating grass this is the sweet banana this one only producing three hands i don't know if it's because probably they are not fertilized or whatever i don't know this one has four hands and this one is the small sweet ones there goes another small sweet one here this one has huh, four and a quarter hands and this one has one two this one has five five complete hands this one will be ready probably in about three weeks we might be able to pick that and over here <laughs> over here guys this one will be ready i would say probably it's ready already but we leave them on the tree to to ripe to start ripening because these ones we eat as the small ones we eat sweet as dessert or snack or whatever then this is another one that's coming up here okay so this is it all right the bees are good so this one is not so new so this one has one two three four five hands then if you guys notice here we have a, a hand here that died a hand here that died a hand here that died one here that died and this one here is gonna die so it produces five good hands and then a whole bunch if it has if all of these open up and it and each and every one of them is is a um, stay like this it's gonna be a big bunch of banana but this one only have five um, hands in the bunch then we have the little short trees that right here see this one is just coming out just just coming out so this one is going to be probably two months two to three months before it's ready so it does take a, a while to get ready however if you have it coming coming you know different stages then you will have banana regularly on a consistent basis so basically that's what we want but i extended the field not only for myself so we could be able to share with other folks um some of our bananas because it's not enough to sell but enough to pop to possibly share with other people that wants bananas so over here also too those are some small trees here i gotta go water my seedlings yeah so these are some small trees here those are fully mature trees they're just small 
And so when you transplant just one banana tree, by the time by the time it comes to the point where it gives you one bunch, you may have about so like for instance this one here. This one here was one banana tree. And look how many pups. It has two pups here already. It has two pups in here. So that's how banana multiply. They just keep on multiplying themselves. You don't, and then you have to transplant because some of the holes, some of the um, the bananas that's here, you could just look at the maturity of the of the banana field. Okay, right here, this is a this tree is about to fall down once it's once it's done. Then this one is the older one. Then this one, then this one. Maybe by the time you cut this branch bunch here this one may have babies well not babies fruits I'm, I'm sorry but in the meanwhile you didn't do anything but you have one two three small ones here and i think we, we remove yeah right here we remove two and then we cut one here already so yeah so this is what we are doing right in this part here if you notice one, two, three has been cut already. And then we dig up, I think we dig up two here. Then look here, you have pups here. One pup, two pup, three pups. And for some reason, the pup ended up on the banks here and we have three bananas here. One of them, oh no, that's from the other branch there. So yeah, so you can just take a few bananas and after a while, if you are transplanting them and taking care of them, you can have a whole field of banana if you have space to transplant them. We took some out from here already also. And these two, one, two, we cut them. And then you have new pups, so many new pups. So yeah, so basically that's what we are trying to do with our banana field as it grows. So yeah, this is what our banana feel looks like yeah this is what our banana feels look like i just wanted to banana feel is one feel i just wanted to share it with you guys that sometimes i do take short clips and put it on youtube of you know banana whatever we produce here and this is one of the things that we have you know it feels so good honestly guys to just go outside in your backyard and cut a bunch of banana and cook uh, with some stewed chicken or something fry i do fry plant um the blogger i didn't know that you could fry it lona tell me that you could fry it. And then marianne tell me that i can use it to make um to make um pie i didn't i tried did i i tried the pie one time yes and it was very good and i fry i've been frying it ever since lona told me about it so yeah so again this is part of our life here in tanzania we are farmers now <laughs> My husband is Farmer Brown. I'm Farmer Brown's wife. <laughs> Feels good though. But anyway, guys, for real, seriously. Um, so we are growing here. We are not only growing our chicken farm, our poultry farm, but we are also trying our best to grow in the um, fruit and vegetable sector. So, yep. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. We thank you guys for those of you who have supported us, who have donated. We thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I've had three persons donate to me this month, which is going towards my chicken feed for July. That is our biggest expense right now is our chicken feed. Um, however... If anyone see it in their heart to 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 give us a contribution um, to help us grow as we continue to grow here, we would appreciate it. We do appreciate it. We appreciate you guys' um, support. We appreciate you guys' um, uh, comments, the encouragement. I was talking to my son this morning, and I, t and I you know, I tell him I said, um, you know, most of the time, sometimes when you feel like you're tired and things is not working out, where you want it to work out we know what we have you guys rooting for us and encouraging us sending us good great encouraging words um yeah i appreciate that and um thank you guys so much 
thank you for your words. Your words means more than anything. Your encouragement means more than anything because it is fucking hard sometimes. But sorry for the cuss word, but that's exactly how I feel. And um, but we will keep pushing. <laughs> I say keep pushing. It is. It is sometimes hard. I think building is hard. But then, when I say building, I mean having to be there on the ground constantly every single day. But as time goes by, it gets a little bit easier. You may have a little hiccup or whatever it is. But um, I thank you guys for encouraging us. I thank you guys for blessing us with your prayers. I know a lot of you guys are praying for us. I know a lot of you guys um, wants to see a success. And we are moving in that direction. So... You know it's a blessing to be here it's a be more to be here and we are doing whatever it takes for us to be more for somebody else to encourage somebody else to encourage and if uh well, however i can help as far as um information is concerned all i ask is a donation because of where we are and what we need to do everything is um time consuming so we just ask you guys to keep you know to keep us in your prayer keep us be more up <laughs> but less up if that's what you want to say and we'll keep pushing so again thank you guys so much for your your subscribe subscription thank you for being part of the affinity family and um be more in 2021 and be blessed one love peace out guys love you guys much lots bye